just for clinicians. What do we have on the docket this week? Uh, Dustin, you want to go? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll pull. I'll pull it up real quick. Uh, all right. So to uh, to date, let me start there because that's just kind of a stat that I think we're all kind of proud of. Uh, to date, we've done. 1925 meals uh so almost 2000 meals um and then in the next call it week and a half uh we have 750 so i think what we'll start to do is continue uh a teammate of uh mine and i our primary role i guess as part of this broader fundraising team is to engage with the health systems in the hospitals so um we're not really sure what's happening right now. We don't know if they're all kind of dedicated to focusing 100% of, of their effort on COVID and aren't really responding, uh, I guess, to to our type of uh, engagement, or if uh, you know if there's some other reason. But we're we're trying to ramp that up. Um, let me double check and see who we have. We've got Denver Health again, St. Joseph's, UC Health, Luther uh, Luther Medical Center, Sky Ridge. Yes. Yeah, so just to further echo what Dustin was saying, we were trying to do a new new hospital, new restaurant every time we donated. But um, we see that, you know, as we get a, a few weeks in, we'll probably circle back, which is uh, we, we do not mind that at all. I mean, uh, one amazing person that we work with right off of the bat, uh, Susan over at uh, Medical Center of Aurora, she's just been such a sweetheart and as gotten us into that entire program, the Health One uh, program. So we're working with a lot of those different hospitals. Um, Megan, uh, she's been running our outreach to the hospitality side. So we're trying to get uh, local, small um, restaurants. And we, we really just want to spread the love as much as we can. That's righteous. That is really righteous. The, the restaurant runway is is much, much larger than we have with uh, the health system partners. And and rightfully so, right? The, the restaurants are just trying to sell a product. The, the hospitals are gearing up potentially for, you know, uh, the worst couple of weeks that we've seen so far. So there's just like this delicate balance of figuring out what restaurants we want to partner with, but also like, hey, we want to feed you guys. We don't want to distract you from from the broad goal. Uh, but let us bring in, uh, let us bring in a meal for you. So, I mean, y'all should all have a, y'all could all have a job with Stryker by the end of this. I mean, shit, y'all might be doing <laughs> <things else>. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jake, one thing I will probe, uh, to see, well, for anyone who's listening to this, what yesterday we brought everybody in on a, a meeting, anybody who's been involved across the nation, we have, we're doing more of like a, an engagement uh, kicks so or we had someone reach out that's doing a COVID 19k run here in the next few weeks so we're going to start building some marketing around that we want to do potentially a raffle we have friends that are djs so we might do um, <clears throat> online streaming of our buddies for our djs to create more engagement more donations but if there's anyone that's listening that has you know different take on how to redirect people back to you know we're in the thick of it right now and we'll be in the thick of it for the next two to three weeks so any ideas um, that would be fun ideas to create engagement and donations or spreading of this type of initiative across the U.S.? You know, we're looking for those types of ideas. So if anybody reaches out to you, just pass it along to us. We would love to chat. Yeah, I mean, the, I, I think y'all, you know, there's only so many eyebrows, but y'all seem like some really, you know, genuine, and <laughs> clever, intelligent guys. So I imagine y'all will have, drum up some good ones. But yeah, for our listeners, uh, the stoners that are sitting at home because you can't be anywhere else, or maybe you're at the park. If you think of a funny dare or a challenge that these cats could do, uh, depending on what it is, I may get involved. I'm saying this very loosely <laughs> since it's on the record that I will. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. We're going to hold you to that. Yeah, how do I you're not? You're not getting out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> the the we'll caveat, though, yeah, loosely involved. I, I think we just got to tee them up properly. Yeah, y'all have come up with something. That's a, good, that's a good head of hair. Let's not, let's not ruin what's good. I mean, this lettuce is just so, – I mean, it's, it hasn't been washed in a while, but it's, gone, it's getting down there in length. So, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I look like a really hot chick in this small camera right here. Um, I don't think you're supposed to go near open flames. You might just go up, dude. <laughs> we could raise charity for you to donate it, though, right? Wouldn't that be a double good cause? Like, donate – Oh, yeah. I've done that before – but you are right. 
maybe if we get enough money raised, yeah. I will cut off a large portion Kit, of my hair. And Kit, what's it. the what's the number, dude? You're gonna have to let me think on that. Seeing as y'all are really good at no, just it. first number that comes to mind. What is it? It's probably like five or ten grand. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, stoner Jesus. <laughs> yeah. This is a robe. This is not a cloak. But uh, I don't. I'm not saying that the hair is worth something. I. Besides, to myself, I'm just trying to really inspire our followers and our listeners to donate. And ah, if you want to see what my skull looks like and all the flat <laughs> spots around it, then this is going to be a great opportunity for y'all. Um, for yeah. the record, I will not shave my head, but I will cut my hair off. You will cut a donation's worth off. Yes. Yeah. I'll cut my hair down to which, the Which I is, I think, 8 to 12 inches, so. It's two kips. <laughs> it's two kips. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Uh, well, guys, I really do. I appreciate y'all joining me today. Um, one more time for our listeners at home, if they want to follow y'all, what y'all's Facebook pages um, for their communities and Instagrams and social medias, how can the folks find y'all outside and the GoFundMe link? It's yeah, lunches for clinicians. All right, yep. that was straightforward. Thanks, oh. Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's lunches for clinicians everywhere. So nice. we're in the process of getting a website built. Um, and yeah, I mean, here we are, just a couple of friends, a couple of knuckleheads that had a crazy idea and a little bit of red wine and just kind of ran with it. So if anyone's looking to do this in their own city, you know, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to give you all of our materials and help you get started and get you coached up and, and, and starting on your way to fundraising. Hey, quick question. Let's say that this thing blows up and like in a good way, like y'all national exposure, like my podcast will probably get y'all. My mom's listening down in Mississippi. Shout out to mom. It's the oh, kip bump. What up, yeah. mom? <laughs> yeah. The kip bump. Yeah. yeah. Oh. The kip bump is a little bit different than <laughs> the regular bump. But it's, you know, it's each their own. Um, fuck, I forgot what we were talking about. Now I'm thinking about partying. Uh, uh, national national presence. presence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I lost it again. Well, that, I tried. I, I don't even know what I was going to ask or say, but that happens a lot. Um, so, so, oh. Just you have the direct links. I shot you over the GoFundMe and the Facebook page that has everything for us in the Zoom chat. Perfect. Perfect. So for those listeners, you can swipe up on our Instagram. The link is in our Instagram page as well. If you want to donate, if you want to get involved in your communities around the country, these guys are here to help. I remember my question now. Um, let's say that this thing blows up, goes huge. Um, any chance you'll quit y'all's day jobs being a nerd and go full, full philanthropic? Did, did you say a full on rapist or a philanthropist? <laughs> ah, reading. I said philanthrop- philanthropic. <laughs> And I don't know if that's proper or not, but I never said I was smart. Uh, I honestly haven't given it. I, mean, I might not have a job if uh, sports don't come back and universities don't. Don't open. say stuff like that. Sports have oh, yeah. positivity. They have to come back. Right. Where am I <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Too yeah. soon. I know. That was supposed to be today. Oh. Rest in peace to the Masters. And for those that are listening, this is next Tuesday. So it's, it would have just been the Masters. And we'd be getting ready for... The Olympics. Oh, I, so so Kip, your didn't your video didn't like center, so I thought it was a Kobe shirt. But my bad. Oh uh, no, it's Tiger Woods shirt. Got it. It says Got he's it. back, and it's in Tiger red. I sold them on our sports website I used to run a couple of years ago, and then so we sold a bunch the first year we had him. It was the year he came back, and he didn't win, but he came back from injury, so we were all excited. And then last year when he won it, I was obviously wearing it. And we re-promoted it and sold like another 1500 fucking t-shirts i was like Wah! so Damn. yeah it was pretty, i mean tiger it's the tiger bump which is even bigger <laughs> it's a bigger bump yeah. a much like bigger a, bump. No, not a tiger bump Dude. Be <laughs> yeah well i mean literally everything on that website from the sports website the largest clicked the biggest clicked article i ever wrote was the one about tiger woods's nudes getting leaked and uh, so it really is a thing so tiger woods we miss you we love you hope you're well but uh, gentlemen, Dustin, Ethan, Scott, I do appreciate y'all joining us today for our listeners at home. Thanks for putting up with Kip. I talk a lot, but I'm sorry. Um, guys, I, look for me to be making a donation, but also look for me to be uh, – I don't know how we're going to gauge this. Y'all could just lie and say, oh, look, we got this money already raised for Kip. But we'll find a way to, uh, to do some fun challenges. Y'all got to match Awesome. It. Yeah, Love we look it. forward to it. Thank you, Kip. Yeah, we <laughs> guys, appreciate the platform. Thanks, my man. Yeah, thanks for the time, man.
Guys, y'all have a great day. Hopefully we can grab a beer when this is all said and done. seems like we all kind of have the same cut of the rug. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. exactly. Yes, sir. Okay, Guys, have a great afternoon. Stay safe. Wash your damn hands. Cheers. Bye-bye. Peace. <laughs> Peace.